Hello athletes and fans of bodybuilding, Tarek El Gindi with the Mr. Olympia. Europa Pro, what a great event, great production. Emilio Martinez once again displaying what he does best. Pure magic, congratulations. Bodybuilding, Regan Grimes wins his qualification for the Olympia. He was better than last week. He was fuller, a bit bigger. I still think the conditioning could be a little bit better, but he was fuller this time. I think his back lat spread was better, his front double biceps was better, and even his abs and shots, which is Nathan's great shot. I thought Regan Grimes actually beat him on that shot. Now, Nathan Diasha has great shots, especially from the side. His density on the chest, side chest and side triceps are incredible. Nathan is a very, very tough competitor and he was passionate about it. Here's the deal, Nathan Diasha. You can go to Paris, you can go to France, but the response is gonna be at the Olympia. Go ahead and beat Regan Grimes at the Olympia. For that matter, the last time I was your head judge was in the United Kingdom, where you beat another British bodybuilder. Yes, I think his name was Samson Dowda. Go to the Olympia and beat that guy and the whole world is gonna be on the side. For that matter, let's finish up with Regan Grimes. Congratulations, you were fuller, you were bigger. The challenge for you is go ahead and beat Nathan Diasha again. Yes, beat him again and improve your condition. Great job, great battle, controversy. The fans are passionate and we wouldn't have it any other way. Moving on on the 212, Oleg Kreev. Man, this guy turned pro with me in Ireland. He's a great Ukrainian warrior and he continues to get better. He's been on the first call out of the Olympia. Nobody will be shocked if he's back there. Dance. At this event, I thought he could have been just a little tighter. But at the Olympia, he's always mega conditioned, so I know he'll get it done. In the classic physique, Wesley Vissers, beautiful physique. He poses like, it looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger on those side shots. But from the front shots, we need to minimize the waist. And if you have a little bit more quads, then the waist gets smaller. Wesley Visser has the conditioning. He has the size. It's all about the posing for him to minimize that waist. Congratulations. In the, two, in the men's physique, Sid Poirier, yes. This guy has won plenty of shows this year. He has amazing V taper. He's a genetic freak, a little bit more upper chest and he'll be good to go. He's tall, I'd love to see him next to Aaron Banks and this guy's been winning a lot of shows. Congratulations. In the women's bodybuilding, Chelsea Dion. Beautiful lines, very feminine. We can gain a little bit of size and be a little bit more conditioned, that's it. The star of the weekend was the women's physique competitor, Karina Gonsalves. Everybody talking about Regan Grimes and Nathan Diasha. That's the competitor who I believe can make an impact. You have Natalia Coelho and Sarah Viegas. They have streamlined physiques and she matches those girls pretty well. So yes, I'm telling you, Karina Gonsalves out of the Europa Pro can be the competitor that makes an immediate impact at the Olympia. Moving on to fitness, Amy Hamilton. Tremendous balance. She's got the strength and she comes in with a lot of energy. On the physique round, we're gonna need more quads. We're gonna need a little bit more of an X tape to go against Missy Truscott, but congratulations. In the figure, Gabriela Leonhartova. Fantastic competitor, but almost the same thing. Needs a little bit more quads and the, the lats are a bit high. So if we can get the lats a little bit lower to create that X frame, we are good to go. Congratulations. In the in wellness, Sandra A. Cow. Fantastic competitor. I think it's the first time I'm seeing her and she is genetically put together perfectly. Can gain a little bit more muscle on the glutes, a little bit more muscle on the legs, so her back posing is a bit more imposing. Congratulations. In the bikini, Valeria Fedorenko. Man, she turned pro with me last year at the Olympia Amateur. I said this is a phenom. She won a pro show last year and went to the Olympia. Now, for this year's Olympia, we're gonna need a little bit more muscle maturity. Everything is in the right place, 
but we just need a little bit more muscle maturity on that frame. When it comes to the Olympia time, a lot of these girls have been working out for a long time and there's a little bit more roundness. If she gets that, Valeria Fedorenko can eventually be a phenomenal competitor coming from Europe. Now in Florida, man, she is good. Daraja Hill. Guys, she was on the first call out of the Olympia. She was there top four. The great thing about the Raja Hill is softness. She brings a beautiful softness to the stage. She poses well. Her physique, the glutes are there, the legs, the shoulders, everything. But what I like about her, she's soft. A lot of competitors in bikini, they wanna be hard, stop it. Look at the Raja Hill. She's one of the best in the world and she's got this beautiful softness to her. My man, I believe the Raja Hill can go all the way. That's what I'm saying. You don't get in the top four one year and you're not one of the contenders. And winning this show in such a convincing factor, I think she can go all the way. Congratulations, Daraja. We're excited to see you. In Mexico, I was the head judge. I love Mexico. My friends in Mexico, viva Mexico. Mexico is fantastico. In Mexico, grand battle. Congratulations to MLM production. They do a great job. Edivan Palmeira from Brazil. My man, when this guy comes in on stage, the chest density, the abs, he is imposing. He's top five in the world. He comes in and he really impresses you. From the back, he has the separation. Maybe fixing a little bit of the back pose to look more aesthetically pleasing. But Edvan Palmeira is as good as it gets. Another one that can go all the way. Moving on to bikini, Reina Paris. She won last year, but she didn't get her visa. This time she has her visa. Balanced, great back pose. She need to contain a little bit of the shoulders, but she is formidable. The new criteria for men's Z came out. Tyler, I commend you, man. Great, great job. The men's physique is fantastic. At the same time, a lot of competitors text me and say, Tarek, I just need to lose five pounds. So I don't think we're gonna see some major changes. I think the guys that are winning the shows now are gonna drop maybe a few pounds and continue to be the same. We are making modifications to make the sport better. Just like the NFL, the most popular sport in the United States. We are gonna continue to do that. I commend Vice President Tyler Mannion. We're on fire, the sport's going, the Olympia is coming, and you better be ready. My name is Tarek Elgindi, we'll see you at the Olympia.